Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is the wrap up video for um, our season ending uh, of Spenny Moore. So I wanted just to take you through exactly what's happened towards the end of the season and you'll see that we had a good end of the season, won all of our matches. You do already know that we were league champions so it wasn't such a case of you know if we were going up it was more of a case of when and we did manage to break that 100 point barrier and we won the league by 24 points in the end so had a fantastic season 33 wins um broke lots of records just looking at the awards we see that glenn taylor did in fact get top goal scorer uh, beating dan mcguire from blythe with uh, 28 goals and Joe Ironside from Kidderminster, who, who got a few goals. Dan's actually a very good player, but he is contracted for another year at Blythe, so we didn't get the chance to, to overtake him. Um, in terms of Blythe, looking at the Northern teams, uh, Blythe finished in seventh place uh, with a goal difference of eight, so Dan was a huge reason why he was uh, he, he did well. Just clicking on, on player stats, you can see that we had a ton of, of players featuring really high on that team goals, um, games won. Team um, team goal seems to be repeated on here for some reason. Maybe we need to look at that average rating. We had Glenn Taylor. What's interesting is that Sean Tutton won Player of the Season. Um, Glenn Taylor had the same amount of man of the matches, more goals, uh, but Tutton had more assists. So maybe that was the clincher. Um, and he was also involved in more team goals. So on balance, he probably did a little bit better. But um, really, really impressive season for us. We go up to the Vanarama National League. Um, we're joined by Hereford, who won through the playoffs. Um, unfortunately for Stockport, they did a little bit better. They won two games that Hereford drew. Um, again, it's the look. It's you know why you've got to go up automatically, isn't it? So I've been working on um, signings. I just want to go into the squad, just sort by average rating, and you'll see that um, it was a good performance in the season by Rob Ramshaw. Uh, obviously I have done a little bit of wheel of deal and you'll notice some new names which I'm going to show you in a second. But a lot of our players are staying on. Um, Adu Papret is wanted but I've got him on a three year contract so he will not be going cheap guys. I'd want a lot of money for him if he was going to leave. Um, but we've signed a few young players have come in which I'll show you but I do just want to show you uh, firstly, some of the players in our reserve team who will be leaving us. Um, now, Chris Elliott isn't leaving us, but he's just in the reserves because um, I've signed a player on loan, which I'll show you in a second. I would love to keep um, Brad Walker, but at the moment I don't have the option to offer him a new loan contract. I will definitely be trying to bring him back on loan and hopefully be able to get him, but he is wanted by Macclesfield and um, a couple of other clubs. And I believe his contract with Crew is is actually up. So when he gets released, which will happen in nine days' time, I will be trying to to buy him, uh, hopefully on a free transfer. But at the moment, he won't negotiate with me because he says I can't afford what he wants to be paid. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. You'll see here the two star players across the board are leaving us. Um, Kevin Hayes and Lewis King are both on, on for loan lists. They're not leaving. Uh, Jake Hibbs is set for release. In fact, if I move to contract and then sort by release, that makes it slightly easier for you to see. Obviously, Chris Elliott's a backup. These two are just our hot prospects. Brad Walker, uh, again, we're hoping that he stays, but he may not. So at the minute, he's out of the squad uh, just because I want him to stay. <laughs> and uh, That's not to punish him. I was just organising my team. Um, we've got release uh, players here. We've got 700, so 450, 850, 1 1, 1 4, 50 in wages. So 1500 quid in wages a week have been sitting in these guys. So, in terms of positions, just want to go back into our custom view. And you'll see that we've got two defenders, a right back midfielder, and two other midfielders. So, we've really upgraded people who so they will be leaving us in a few days time and transfers in terms of transfer history um, and I just want to right we did actually get a bid from Callum from Cal, Callum Williams a cash bid which I felt I had to um, accept I had actually signed a player 
I'm just going to go down to who are the recent signings on the 7th from the 7th. So obviously we had Billy Sass Davis who has signed on for another season to remain on loan, which I'm happy about. Um, Abdu, Abdi Sharif has joined us from Liverpool and he's classed as a first team player who can improve. He's a central midfielder, so an upgrade for our central midfielder. And again, very young and he's on a, on a two year deal, so we're hoping to develop him. That's an investment in the future, better than a player like you know Henry or or whatever. One of our long-term um, targets was Johnny Byrne, a young defender. We, as you know, we had a big gap at centre half. He played 48 games for just under seven rating. Um, he has all the stats that you want: good header, marking. Look at all every single key stat in no nonsense centre back. Um, you know, and he can also play a stopper. Uh, cover not, not so well but certainly defend everything is above 10 that you're looking for so with very strong good jump and reach he's six foot four he's a he's going to be an important player for us this season he's signed on a two-year deal and he's the right age for us we've signed kyle connell who is a very committed brave and aggressive forward he's only 17 years old he's a pressing forward and i think i'm hoping that he's going to come off the bench quite a lot he, he's got work to do He's a backup player, but he's someone who has a really high upside, and I'm hoping to develop him this season, and he'll, he'll get some game time. George Danaher, and again, I might butcher some of these names, so I do apologise. Is another forward who will feature. High upside, a couple of years, he's an advanced forward. Again, just a squad player. We only had actually Glenn Taylor, um, so I had to make some some um, some changes. To, to bring him to bring more forwards in so he's just a sign in to bolster the squad Sam Minahan look at that not one stat under six and he's a right back so he was the reason that I was happy to sign to sell um, I was happy to sell Callum Williams when I got a cash bid he's only two and a half stars but he's a fairly good rating and he's on decent money for a year we'll see if he earns a new contract he may be someone we have to replace but he's not costing us loads of money Reese Williams, another centre half, again probably a bit more of a squad player. He's down as a first team player, probably goes ahead of Chris Thackeray for example, but another investment in youth um, from Liverpool, and uh, we'll see how he gets on this season. Nick Horton was a player who I'm very happy to sign. He's actually more of a, an attacking midfielder, but I thought I would bring him in to really get onto that attacking uh, player. He's got a high upside, and he could be an important player for us. Um, played for Salford last season, did okay, played plenty of football in the higher division. So again, moving up, he'll be good for us. Jordan Lonchar um, is coming in. He's a backup to Sean Tutton, someone with a bit of pace. He's a first team player. Um, he's behind, but he can play right across the front. So I've got no problems that wherever we need him, he can fit in. He's the right age and he's got good stats, played for Sheffield Wednesday last season. And finally, we've brought in a loanee goalkeeper from Lincoln on a on a relatively cheap contract. Um, he's he's just proves as a, a better backup for um, for Billy O'Brien, who's staying as well. They're both about the same. O'Brien's got slightly better stats, uh, but there's not much in it, guys. To be honest, they're both about the same age. They'll be nice and competitive. If one of them's not playing well, I can put the other one in, um, and that's that's where we are with that. In terms of um, I've made an offer for Brad Walker, but to be honest, guys, it was a it was a silly one. Um, I'm going to t my, add the short list, but I'm going to withdraw a transfer offer because it was just a silly one. It wasn't a real a real one. Um, so we just need to wait and see how things go on the 30th of um, of June. So yeah, the squad's looking good just in terms of ability, which is in the in the view of um, my assistant manager. We pretty much have three stars across the main bulk of the squad with three of our best players being um, and I'm very happy with these five players here and um, so we try and find a place for Jordan Launcher and um, we've obviously got Sean Tutin still there Glenn Taylor they'll be starting of course because they've proven and um, but it looks like we're gonna have a, a new look team four of the players that we've signed are some of the best players in our squad and if we were just for example to put a team together just sort of roughly putting in players who could just play somewhere just in terms of who the best team might be 
Um, where's our goalkeeper at? Billy, I'll just put him in as well. And uh, we'll just quickly draw like a really rough idea as to where our team is. Um, I'm not sure I fully agree with, with that. Uh, where's the... Probably want rid of Stephen Brogan if I'm honest, because I think I've got Christian Hill as a backup there. So I'm going to offer him to clubs for free. See if I can get his wages off our books. He is only on a cheap contract, to be honest, but we'll wait and see what happens. Um, but if we just look at that in terms of a, of a team, that's what it might it might look like. In fact, I would Horton for Romero just to top them over. Can't quite work out how you do that. And as you can see, it's a decent team. It's not a bad team. It's a, it's a new look back line and Sharif at, at, um, at right back, wing back. But that probably will be Sam Minhan, Meehan, Meehan. And perhaps central midfielder, that might well be. In fact, that would probably be, I think, the team that I would go for initially. Um, that seems to be quite a nicely balanced team. Danny and Gwesson misses out, but again he's getting a bit older. You know he's going to have to going to have to work on his minutes and see if he if he earns his place. But there's quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, competition there, which I think is quite. See how how whether the computer would agree. They can't they can't pick a team because of on holiday, of course. Um, just want to also show you I've done a big big upgrade on staff. Um, really went through and changed almost everybody and got new people in. Uh, we do have Ali McCoy, Stephen Warnock, uh, Ian Sharps, who was a, a, and I've got Ian Sharps almost as a, as a, as a doffing of a cap because when he played for Tranmere in, in back in the early days, he was a great player on one of the early versions of the, of the game. So I've got him in as an assistant manager. It's almost come full circle now. And um, so I've brought in loads of new new people, new new director of football, new everything, and I've taken responsibility to try and um, you know improve. Take control of the of, of that side of the game as well. So that's it, guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fast forward to the 30th of June, and basically the, at that point we'll be, I'll be able to show you the, the list of friendlies and also the final the final squad. And um, so we'll go from there, guys, and we will see how things are looking when we're in the National League. Here we are back again, and uh, just to let you know, there's been a few few changes. I've gone forward to July the 19th. Uh, forget about that, I just want to show you transfer history. Uh, Chris Thackeray has gone away on loan, and I've also got rid of Chris Elliott as well for a little bit of money. And we've signed George Smith, uh, left back. I'm going to retrain him for the attacking left. And we've also signed Luca Ercolani, who is a, a good centre half. So we've really now got an embarrassment of riches as centre half. I just want to show you the team report. Um, just down at the bottom there, we've got Billy O'Brien. Grant Smith there, you know, all of these players now, excellent at the back. And we've got Sam Meehan, Gidu Patrick Smith, but I am going to play Smith up here. I want him in there. Um, we've got Launcher, Tutin, we've got Taylor Launcher. So Launcher is supposedly better than Tutin, but I can't really drop show on Tutin, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play George Smith, but I'm also going to rotate him with with Launcher, I could sell Glenn Taylor and play Tutin up there, but when he scored so frequently for us, I think he deserves that chance. Um, so that, at the moment, um, what I would suggest is that we have a really quite a good squad depth. The one position I would like to improve is to sign a class right back. So I'm just about to start trawling the... Um, Premier League side to see if I can get anybody on loan, which will be the final piece of the jigsaw. Okay, guys, so we have um, made some changes to our team, um, and we've done a lot of real dealing since I last spoke to you just a few seconds ago. Um, I would like to show you um, a few things that I've done. We've made a lot of loan signings. We've gone out the club. Thackeray is on a guaranteed transfer. Hill's gone because he fell out with me. Buddle got released, and there's a few players come in. Hilary Benz will be up front, come in as backup. We've also got Jamie Sterry from Newcastle as a right back. Said I was looking for a right back, four stars, class player. Um, and Max Crocombe on a free transfer from Salford. 
and that means that Grant Smith, uh, his transfer has become a bit of a joke. If we look at the squad statuses, I've gone through the squad and I've made those changes. Um, we'll have to wait and see how Tutin does. He's definitely going to be under pressure to perform uh, because he's going to have to fight for his place essentially um, because Lonchar is breathing down his neck. In fact, Lonchar is actually a better player, so I should really give him a chance to shine. Um, the big changes in defence, obviously those players are all new. Gideon did have a transfer bid, uh, once reinforcements, but he might end up getting sold, at which point George Smith will go to left back. Uh, but we'll wait and see how that goes. I will get a good fee for him if he does go. So, you know, we'll live we'll live if that happens. I think that's about it, guys. So just to show you um, a few, because I've obviously had to progress through. Uh, we're doing quite well. We've got um, a friendly against uh, our under-18 teams today. And probably our next match will be... Hartlepool on the 31st of August, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all on the next video, and thanks for watching. Big season ahead.